Hi, hello, students. Welcome to the general mathematics. This subject is written so that you can learn about the power of mathematics and how it relates to real life situations outside the classroom. All concepts in this subject are carefully explained. All work of examples are presented in a step-by-step -step manner and important definitions. This subject is designed to help you think and develop mathematical ideas. You, your teacher or me will help you stay on track as you do your daily assignments and summarize the points of your lesson. The key part of the learning mathematics is thinking carefully about the ideas of yourselves. With the guidance of your teacher, you will become a more confident learner in math. Once again, good morning students. Okay, so for our first video, our objectives are number one, um, the students are able to to understand or to learn about functions and relations. Number two, the students are able to understand or learn how to apply the vertical line test. Number three, the students are able or understand to apply to represent a real life situation using functions including a piecewise function. So these are so these are the objectives of our first video. Okay, so our first topic of our video is about the relation and function. Okay, let us tackle first about a relation. By by its definition, a relation is a rule that relates values from a set of values called the domain to a second set of values called a range. So meaning, uh, in relation, it talks about uh, two sets. Uh, there is uh, values in the set A, and that is called the domain, and another values in a set B, and that is the range. So according to the definition, a rule that relates a values from from the set to another set. So this is a set A, and these values, these are the values, and these values are called the domain, and this is a set B, and these are the values called the range. So the element, the first element of the set A corresponds to, to the element in the set B. Okay, one, element one corresponds to uh, A in a set B, and elements to corresponds to the element of set B, small letter B and 3 to the C. So this is the another example, uh, this is the first example, a relation, because according to definition, a relation is a rule that uh, the element or the values in the set A or the domain corresponds to the values of the set B, the range. So, wala siya naging ngon kung pila ka buhok dapat yahang it corresponds to the other set. Okay, let us proceed to the to the next topic is a function. Okay, so another definition, this is a definition of the function. A function is a relation where its element in the domain is related only one. So take note. Uh, this is only one meaning saragyon only one value in the range by some rule so meaning uh, based in the definition uh sabot niya ang kada element na naa sa na naa sa set or nasa domain dapat ang corresponds lang siya of only one element na naa sa range so sa another set so, do not take example. This example is in mapping. Okay, mapping. This is the, this is the form of mapping. Okay, let us say this is a set A. The elements of the set A, M, N, or N, L, and another set B. The element of the set B, three, five, and four. And let us call this as a function F. 
kinindoha ka kan function f ngalan niya so if we notice that the element of the set a corresponds exactly 1 no because m corresponds to 3 n corresponds to 4 l corresponds to 5 so isa ra ang ilahang partner okay in the set in the number two example another set set x the elements a b and c and the set y the elements m and l and let us call this uh, function as function x okay so you have noticed nga ang a corresponds to m ang b corresponds to m and c correspond, corresponds to l but uh, if we analyze the 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 drawing ang a isa lang ang corresponds ang m then ang b corresponds lang isa sa m meaning isa isa ra ang ilang partner although gibalik nila ang m pero every element in the set x or in the domain corresponds lang git siya o isa lang git element nga naa sa y or nasa lens so meaning wala na to na violate ang definition so so meaning that the first example and this example are the example of the function number three the set m okay, let us uh, call this as the function g so this is the function g okay the set m elements one two and three and the set n elements is x only one element in the set n so pero wala gya punta na violate sa definition because ang one corresponds of exactly one element and the two corresponds of exactly one element and number three the uh, element three corresponds of exactly one element so therefore these three examples are example of the function okay okay so the example number four this example is not an example of the function so why ano man because the element of the set x 1 and 2 corresponds si element 1 na corresponds siya o duha ka elements na nasa set y so duha man so 1 corresponds sa a and 1 corresponds sa b so ang number 1 yan i-violate ang definition sa function so therefore m is not a function so ato pa m is not a function okay so this is not a function okay another form or another form of 